This next video I'm going to show you is from my video archives. Again, um, I discovered these parasites about four months ago when I bought my microscope from Amazon and started to look at RTN and coral in my tank, trying to understand why they were dying because I had treated with everything known, including interceptor and anti-parasite medicine and um, even dipping corals that were RTNing and pretty much every single reef product available, including Bayer Complete and Coral MD, Coral RX, Aquaforest, Revive. I mean, the list goes on and on. So bought the microscope, threw it under, threw the corals that were dying under the microscope and saw these little guys crawling around on the skeleton where the tissue was being eaten. And placed a few of these coral frags into about 10 mils of tank water, left it in a urine cup overnight, came back and just started looking at the water itself that the coral frag was in. And this is what you'll find if you do that on your own. I call this little video segment ciliates feasting because that's what these creatures are. They're ciliates and these are the RTN parasites the RTN parasites, and there's a couple of different kinds here, so you'll see some of them in action. Now these are all microscopic, and just to give you an idea, they're really good swimmers, by the way. They're swimming in water. So if you're thinking, well, I've got an RTN, RTN in coral in my tank, but I'll just get it out, it'll be fine. Nope, by the time you're getting that thing out, by the time you see it RTNing, even before it RTNs, these guys have already swarmed off the coral and they're looking for the next one to infect. These are in anyone's tank who has an RTNing coral, STNing coral, and most bleaching corals, these guys are responsible in part for it as well. You can see them on the chunks of coral tissue eating. They're just feasting. It's like a giant buffet and they're just sitting at the table eating the coral tissue. These are pieces of coral tissue from Acropora, in this case, but it could be any coral tissue. So we're gonna zoom in and get a better look at them. And you'll notice their bodies are filled with zoanthella. Those are the little algae that are symbiotic within coral tissue. So the only way they could actually have the zooanthella within their bodies is if they ate it. The zooanthella did not climb into their body willingly, as some people might suggest. They're eating the coral tissue with the zooanthella right now. So these are the parasites that cannot be killed with any other commercially available dip or product. They're not killed with Sentinel. They're not killed with Interceptor. They're not killed with anti-parasitic medication. They're not killed with antibiotics. I've tried them all. Killing these guys is nearly impossible. You can put them in fresh water and they won't die. They'll swim around. And I know there are people out there who are gonna start repeating my experiments and that's perfectly fine with me. You'll find the same results. The main thing to understand is the only way to kill these right now is by using the prime coral stop RTN dip or the prime coral in tank treatment. Now my recommendation is to use a combination of both. If you have a coral that's stressed or dying, you need to dip it at least twice, preferably three times, separated by five days between each dip. And you need to be treating your entire system with the in tank treatment to kill any of these guys swimming around. Look how good swimmers they are. That's why they're able to travel from one coral to another, even in high flow tanks. A video I posted right before this shows the prime coral uh, dip, not called prime coral stop RTN, and it's very effective at killing them almost instantaneously. Again, they're not mating, they're actually eating a piece of coral tissue. Again, these are the RTN parasites, the reason why RTN occurs in corals, and I'm not talking about just acros, they're responsible for RTN in any coral, chalices, 
mushrooms, zoanthids, large polyp stony, small polyp, SPS. As soon as they land into the coral, they infect it and they start to breed and reproduce and they start eating the coral and they take it over. Basically, the coral just gets consumed. The only way to stop these is with the prime coral stop RTN dip and the in-tank treatment, prime coral prevent RTN. You need to use them in combination. We're gonna be posting on the website exactly how to do that. But in summary, it is two to three dips with the prime coral stop RTN and in-tank treatment five times separated by three days each. So dosing every three days for five doses. It's about two weeks worth. By the way, I'd like to know if anyone out there still believes that these parasites don't exist and that they're not the ones eating coral.